Live now in this morning, we are just a few weeks away from many of our kids going back to school. But right now, the race is on to get those classrooms ready, specifically for several schools still recovering from Hurricane Ida. We're yeah. just about a month away from the anniversary. And for thousands of those students, well, the last few years, not just the last year, has been a pretty uh, catastrophic one with one catastrophe after another. Yeah, the bounce back really still continues to this day. Terrebonne Parish, one of the areas hardest hit by Hurricane Ida a year ago, and as WD ASU reporter Heath Allen shows us the push to be ready for the first day of school. It's a race that they fully expect to win. Heath, good morning. They they do expect to win it, but you're talking about one literal ca catastrophe after another. So they're kind of looking to follow that with one triumph after a number after another, if you will. That's exactly what's going on in Terrebonne Parish, a system where 30 of 31 schools suffered some sort of damage when Hurricane Ida rolled through. And look, there's a lot of places that look like the storm just came through yesterday. An extraordinary amount of work uh, has been done over the last several months to get the Terrebonne school system ready for the bell on August the 9th. That's how close it is. In the face of shortages of all kinds, the supply chain issues, hundreds of temporary buildings have now been moved into place on campuses, on the home campuses, so kids can go where they normally go to school. Their labs, cafeterias, you name it, so that Terrebonne teachers will have a place to teach, Terrebonne students will have a place to learn when that bell finally rings. But it is indeed an effort that's going to come right down to the wire. The show is still going to go on, so to speak. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have less of a educational opportunity for our kids. It's going to be, you know, just no different than what it would have been in the, the regular building. And look, you've got a, a bunch of students who have gone through a couple of years of COVID, through displaced uh, situations with hurricanes, distance learning, you name it. They've had these hurdles to try and jump over, but it's amazing what a good team can do when they come together. And we're going to show you a little example of that when we come back. Guys, back to you. Heath Allen, thank